and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In today's class, I will be teaching you a very cool app. It's a hands-free, voice-enabled flashlight app. That is, there are no buttons, no controls on the screen. You just have to give a voice command like light on and your device's flashlight will be turned on. And if you say light off, it will be turned off. So isn't that a very cool thing? And you can really impress your friends and family by showing them this app. So let's have a look at the demo. Light on. Light off. Wow, wasn't that cool? So let's begin. Start a new project. Name it voice flashlight, no spaces in the project name. We need two extensions for this app to work. Remember that as we are using extensions, this will only work on an Android device. To make this app work for newer versions of Android, you do need to make some changes and I will be explaining the process at the end of this tutorial. So do watch the video till the very end. So first let's download this free voice recognition extension without Google Dialog. That is the extension that will make our speech recognition hands-free without the Google Dialog. Okay, so just go down on the screen. I will give the link in the video description. And here you have this SC speech recognizer version 9 underscore one dot AIX file. Just download that. Okay, as you can see that you need to be logged into download attachment. So let me log in first. You can sign in with Google. Authorize Cordula community. It is a safe place. Now I'm signed in. So I will just go down again. The AIX file, that is the extension file. Just click on it, download it to your computer. Okay, so it has been downloaded. The second extension is for controlling our camera's flashlight. We have used this extension while making our strobe light app, that is the flashing light app, in which we used a timer to turn the flashlight on, off, on, off, so that it gave the flashing or strobe light effect, okay? Like a disco light. So this is the link, and I will give the link in the video description too. Again, I need the AIX file. So if I go down, I have this download, this extension file, the AIX file. So just click on it and it will be downloaded to your computer. So once both the extensions have been downloaded, come back to your MIT app inventor and we have the designer view here. And if you go down, you have this extension. So just click on it and click on import extension and choose both the extensions one by one and import them into your project. So as you can see that I have imported both the extensions, the speech recognizer extension and the flashlight extension. As you know, this is a hands-free app so we do not need any components, but I will be using this notifier from user interface to give alert messages to the user. Drag and drop the notifier. And we have to add these extensions to their components. So just drag the speech recognizer and the flashlight extension. So we just have these three non-visible components in this app. Now, for your screen one, you can change the title to voice flashlight and we can leave it as an empty white screen, but I would like to upload a splash screen for my app. So I'm just going to go to upload file and this I made in canva.com. This is just a background image. And if I go to screen one and its properties, I can choose the PNG file that I just uploaded. 
and this was just for beautification and it does not serve any purpose in the working of the app okay now our work here is done so go to the block section when the screen one is initialized we need to check if our device has a flashlight because remember that some devices do not have a built-in flashlight so we need to check for it okay so go to screen one and get its initialize event so when screen one is initialized we are going to do an if else block so go to control and get the if then else block and we are going to check if we have a flashlight so go to this flashlight extension component and get this if typhoon flashlight one dot has flash okay and if it has flash then we have to set up a speech recognizer so that it does not show a google dialogue and we have to also enable the continuous recognition okay so just go to speech recognizer and get these set blocks so set continuously recognition enabled to true again duplicate it and here now we are going to choose mute audio and make it true too and duplicate it again and the last property that we need to change is enable google dialog and make it false so continuously recognition enabled is set to true mute audio is set to true too and enable google dialog has to be set to false okay and then we have to call it to get the text that is recognize speech so call sc speech recognizer one dot get text okay so this is to be done only if there's a flashlight in your device if there's no flashlight we are going to just show a message an alert message to the user that your device does not have a flash okay so call notifier dot show alert and get a text block flashlight not available on this device okay next we will look at our speech results okay which we will get when we call speech recognizer dot get text and we will see if the speech recognized contains a special command words such as light on or light off you can have your own commands too for turning the light on and for turning the light off so this call results in an event in the speech recognizer when speech recognizer dot after getting text so just drag and drop it here and we need another control block if then else okay inside it we are going to check if the result that is the speech recognized contains our light on light off commands okay so if i go to text i have this block contains okay and here the text is whatever has been recognized by the speech recognizer component so hover over it to get its getter and the piece is our actual voice command that we want to check for so in my case i'm going to check for light on okay next i'm going to turn on my flashlight okay so go to your flashlight extension component and turn it on okay because our result contains our light on command again you can have some other command here for turning your light on second thing is we can have an optional alert message to tell the user that the light should be turned on so just duplicate this notify.show alert and bring it down here and we can have something like light should be turned on okay in the else case i'm going to check if 
the speech contains the light off command. Okay, so I'm just going to go and get another control block. Now I'm just going to get the if then block. And here I'm going to just check for the light off command. So just duplicate this and change light on to light off. Okay, and we are going to turn the flashlight off. So just call flashlight off. And we want to show a notify message too. So just duplicate this one. And here we can say that light should be turned off. Okay. And in all these cases, we need to again call at the end after the getting text outside this if then else block speech recognizer dot get text. Okay. So that it keeps on waiting for text. Okay. So the reason why we are using the speech recognizer extension is that normally when you use the built in speech recognizer that is provided by MIT app inventor, it will wait for a few seconds and then it will stop listening. Okay. So we want it to continuously listen. And secondly, the Google dialogue is always shown whenever we have to speak something in our device. So a, a dialogue shows up. So we have also turned it off using this special extension. And thank you developers who created this speech recognizer component because it's really cool. And you can make a lot of hands-free speech recognition apps using this extension. Okay, so this is done. I mean, look at how small the code is and there were no user components. So the screen design did not take any time. We just had to download those two extensions. Now, remember that the app will work using the companion app in all versions of Android, but you will face a problem when using newer versions of Android if you install the app using the APK file. So for that to work, you need to edit the APK file. So how to do that? You need to first of all build the APK file. So go to build and click on Android APK. Download it. And also download APK Editor Studio and I will give the link in the video description. I've already downloaded it and now I'm going to open it up. Now click on open APK and choose the voice flashlight.apk file that you downloaded from MIT App Inventor. Click on it, press open, click on open contents, open Android manifest.xml file using notepad or some other editor. I'm using sublime text. Okay. And you can see that it has these three permissions for internet camera and record audio just below that make sure that it is after the bracket has been closed write this now i will give this in the video description what you have to write and you just have to copy paste it okay now save it and then close it and now save apk so it will basically make the apk again with the changes in the android manifest file now we are going to give it a new name so that we are able to differentiate it with our older APK files. So I've made it in voice flashlight new and save it. So now that has been created and now use this, the new APK file that you just created on your newer versions of Android, okay? If your app is still not working, make sure that both the camera and microphone permissions have been turned on for the app. And if not, turn them on. You can check in apps permissions by going to the settings of the device and then clicking on apps and then choosing your app, for example, voice flashlight app. And then you can see whether the permissions have been turned on or not. And if they're off for our voice flashlight app, then turn them on to make your app work. Okay. So this is done. And I hope you like this video. Do show your app to your friends and family because they will be super impressed to see a voice enabled hands free flashlight working on their devices. Okay. But remember that this app will only work on Android devices because it uses extensions. Okay. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do so, so that you don't miss any of the cool things that I have planned for you. And thank you for watching my video. Have a good day and goodbye.